Shantani, hello, and welcome to the 152nd episode of the Godfather, Godfather Minute. Minute. With me, Alex Robinson. And that's me, Andy Robinson. And together, collectively, we make up the Godfather, the Godfather Minute, Minute Brothers. Brothers. And we're here to talk about 152. 152. You gonna do it, Alex? I am. Alex, a minuto? Min- a minuto. Numero? Numero. Cento. Cento. Cinquanta due. Cinquanta due. Cinquanta due. Cinquanta due. That means 152. That's it. Uh, it That's min- this. By the way, you know how there's a like a 50th anniversary is the silver anniversary, mm-hmm. and 100 is gold. Whatever the the demarcations mm-hmm. are. One is silver, the other gold. Do you know what 152 is? Mm, it's, what? It's the orange anniversary. Oh, that's... Not many people <laughs> make it to that one. I think that's no. why orange is a, so, uh, is a symbol for death. But the Don made it to that one. Uh, <laughs> in this minute, uh, the Don and Anthony are hanging out in the garden. Um, Don terrifies Anthony by putting an orange peel, a traditional omen of death, into his mouth. <laughs> 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 So I, I walked away with two interpretations of this whole sequence. Mm-hmm. One of them mm-hmm. positive and one of them negative. Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me about well, that. Well, the, the negative one would be, so the scene is basically the Don chasing um, Anthony around, you know, like, like he's a monster. And I thought it was symbolic of the way that the sort of ghost of the Corleone crime family will always be haunting, mm. will always be lingering around and, and will un, un, unescapable that, that kind of, uh, mm. that kind of thing. So like mm. literally the last thing the Don does is, is like a mo- is be a monster in the, in the, mm. so, um, I think I need to create a new sound effect at, at a deep analysis sound effect. That's fantastic. Alex. That's <laughs> what would good. it That's be? Good stuff. The sound should be like, boom, like one of those, like a submarine, uh, that ping. Oh you yeah, know, like, <laughs> and put a big put a lot of echo on it so it sounds like we're in a sub. Okay, yeah, sonar, sonar. There you got go. it. Um, that's that's very interesting. I believe it. So, or alternately, it could be that while the Don is seen as a monster by people on the outside, he actually wound up building. He's he's ending his days amongst something that he has grown for his family that will live on after he is gone, despite whatever these uh newspaper people say (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) so yeah so there you go so it's to one is a positive view of the don that he's not really a monster that he's portrayed as one Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. one is that he really is a monster Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. so so take your pick well i i think they both work Mm -hmm. that's what that's why it's a great analysis they both work they're both fitting and proper yeah i guess the first one is like what is what k would say that yeah it's a symbolic of his evil and then mikey would say well, you know, maybe it's more symbolic about how much you know. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You heard what I said. Well, Alex, you, uh, I feel like that's all That's all we got because all of my analysis has to do with the orange peel in his mouth and the spray can, all the fun stuff. You went right to the heart of the meaning of good and evil and family. <laughs> well, it's just sort of an overall theme. We can get into the little nitty gritty details. So. Yeah, yeah. You so. can never scare your family. <laughs> and so the first half of the minute, yeah. the Don is calling Anthony over. Yeah. Like, come on, come here. Anthony! Come here, come here. <laughs> and then he, the middle minute, he cuts the orange yeah. peel, or part of the orange, puts it in his mouth. And then the, the last part of the minute, he begins chasing Anthony around. Yes. So I got a few questions about that. Okay. First, it's pretty of all, straightforward, but uh, go ahead. Well, I don't. I don't think so. Okay, what you got? Don Corleone, aka Marlon Brando, puts a piece of orange in his mouth, and we know from way back when, through when we began these, this analysis, years we ago, talked about how Marlon Brando stuffed his cheeks with <laughs> cotton, didn't mm-hmm. he? Yep. So does he have in this scene? Does he have both cotton and an R piece of big piece of orange in his mouth? I think he does. This guy needs to win the Oscar just for that. <laughs> there should be a different uh, Oscar category for <laughs> for for how much uh, stuff you had in your mouth while you were acting. <laughs> and the winner of most items stuffed into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Paulie Shore. 
I was thinking it's sheerly, you think it's sheerly a qual- quantity thing, like the most things stuffed in your mouth, not no. like who did the best <laughs> acting with something oh, stuffed in their mouth. No, it's straight up. Oh, it's like sheerly a straight quantity up density. Issue. No, not just quantity because you have to take into account volume and density. Right, well, yeah, that's what so I mean. So each like, item is given a certain ra- uh, ra- um, a, a a numeric value. Qual- numeric value. Uh, value, yes, and then whoever is the greatest one. I think wow. cotton is pretty high up there because it absorbs water and then it gets soggy mm. and then fr- uh, fruit eh. <laughs> well i would think fruits i would think fruits would be better because you can chew them and stuff whereas yeah. like like yeah, like right. ball bearings or like batteries mm. or something would be, would be <laughs> uncomfortable to put in your mouth because they're like bulky and yeah, you know you can't really. Uh, <laughs> Marlon Brando acted with uh, D batteries in his mouth, <laughs> <laughs> one in each side. <laughs> That's shocking. Well, oh, you know, at least, maybe uh, Marlon Brando insisted on oranges so he would get his daily intake of vitamin C. Mm, well, C for Corleone. No, it's got to be oranges. <laughs> if they're gonna, the, my my contract says if you're gonna make me stuff more stuff, uh, every other item I stuff in my mouth has to be something that's nutritious with vitamins. <laughs> Cotton, oranges, D batteries, those, grapefruits. I'm, I'm one of those nutrient actors. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy cards. <laughs> so yes anthony said did you do you understand anthony's dialogue in this minute he says things uh, he's I, the, I think at one point when he says he grabs him over and he says like G- give me an orange yeah he says he, give me orange yeah <laughs> it's just sounded i just imitated like it was a baby don <laughs> cronio give me orange what <laughs> what <laughs> what you what am i gonna do i'm gonna get scared from the from the orange mouth monster. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to point that out because the first few times I watched this minute, it just sounded like young kid, like baby jargon. But J- then I looked up the jabber. script and Anthony is speaking. Hmm. Yeah. He says, give me orange. Well, I think he's older than when you first time you saw it. So that's probably, that's right, probably yeah. able to more articulate. And then do you know what Don says after he scares Anthony? Uh, I do now because you you told you you texted it to me. So yeah. uh, go ahead and tell the listeners. He said, "That's a new trick." <laughs> We're saying he, it as if it was because oh. you can't understand what he's saying. Wait, so first he goes, ah, 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 and then he took the orange out of his mouth and he goes, "That's a new trick." <laughs> That's a new trick, Anthony. <laughs> So your question was, did Don invent this trick? Yeah, because this is, what year is this again? 55? So 55, and he says, that's a new trick. That's a new trick. So is that a new trick to the Don, and he's just slipping, he's behind the times? (laughs) Or is it truly new at that time? Or is it just completely made up for the movie? Well, I think that, well, first of all, you asked me, like, did he, is, is, what was the or the history of putting orange slices in your mouth to <laughs> yeah. make teeth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. And I Googled it and there was not really anything about the history of it. I have to assume that that's been done for as long as oranges have been around. Because yeah. it seems like such a, <laughs> if you have people sitting around eating oranges, some bored person is going to, is going to do that. So, uh. <laughs> So uh, I think you're right. Yeah, it's probably been passed on from by kids mm. from generation to generation. Yeah, so maybe the Don just learned it. Well, or he's telling Anthony this is a new trick because mm. you're a young kid and you don't know any tricks. This is a mm. new trick for you to learn. Oh yeah, that makes like sense. maybe up until this whole time he's been teaching Anthony tricks, mm. and this is a new one for him to learn. Yeah, <laughs> the first the first trick he taught Anthony was how to assign Luca Brazzi a, a meaningful <laughs> task. <laughs> The first trick he learned was keeping his friends close and his enemies close. <laughs> yeah. Anthony, can you infiltrate the Tatania family? <laughs> then hug your mother. <laughs> well, I do like the idea that the Don had just learned it, like uh, like Clemenza came over and, and did it to him. And then first the Don got all startled. <laughs> and then Clemenza was like, oh, forget about it, Don, don't worry about it. <laughs> Don Vito, you never know when you're going to have to scare 20 men. <laughs> I learned this new trick. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can scare your, your grandson before next month. <laughs> and then when Tessio like, learned it, he's like, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I'll, do that to, I'll do that to Mikey when we have our last meeting. <laughs> the reason Tessio, they went with Tessio's idea to plant uh-huh. the gun in the bathroom yeah. to kill uh, Salazzo and McCluskey was because... 
uh, Clemenza's original idea was to plant an orange peel. Michael would come out of the bathroom, just scare them. Oh, yeah? Scare them out of doing the deal and trying to kill Pop. Wow. He was going to come out of the bathroom and go, and then Slutz was like, McCluskey starts clutching his neck. <laughs> He's so scared. <laughs> wow, that would be a uh, then that would certainly make the front page of the of the newspapers the next day. Oh, yeah. Orange peel massacre. Yeah. And then later outside when all the police are there, mm-hmm. uh Phil says something but but captain, we searched the whole place. Damn it, Phil, I said there's an orange mouth monster in that joint. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever scared a New York City police captain. It could be done. <laughs> now wait a minute, Tom. We got citrus growing. <laughs> we got farmers on the payroll. <laughs> we got a lot of pranksters. They want a liquid joke like this. <laughs> this sonny, sonny said, oh, college boy thinks he's going to walk up to a police captain and scan with a peach and orange. It's not like the army. You got to get right up to him and go, Arr! What do you think? You can leave a whoopee cushion on a chair and then walk away? <laughs> no. You got to get right there. I got <laughs> right in the gold over your eye leave your league suit. <laughs> yeah, that's the other man's taken very personally with Tom. <laughs> Um. So, oh, hey, one other thing about the orange. Yes. So, it's hard to tell what he puts in his mouth, and we don't even. And we see Anthony's face in the back of the Don's head when he does the orange mouth monster move. Yeah. So I never see the classic orange peel on the outside because then you get Coppola has a you have a little view of the Don when he picks up Anthony's laughing. He says, "Oh no no, no." he's yeah. laughing." Yeah, and he still has something in his mouth, but yeah. I don't see orange. Hmm. Did you notice that? It's not a typical the way at least I learned it where you put the orange peel the orange out. And even when he scares him, you don't no, see any to put orange. The peel, it looks put, just kind of white. And you, you put the peel. Out. You put the peel facing out. Really? Yeah, because it's round. That way it mimics the shape of... You don't put it... It's, so you always it's did like a it, mouth guard. You always did it, the white, pulpy side outward. No, pulpy side in, yeah. skin facing out. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But but you never see orange. And all you never see the exterior peel on all the shots of the Don when oh. he's doing the orange mouth monster. Yeah. You just see kind of white. Well, um, there might be a reason for that. Do you want me to, to, to explain some behind-the-scenes information for you? I, absolutely. That's why I'm bringing it up. Well, uh, this scene was um, originally going to, in the script, they weren't going to film this scene because mm. the, you were to learn of the Don's death at the funeral. That told you all the information you needed to know. This is strictly a character-building moment. So early in the filming, um, Coppola had planted some tomato gardens on the site of where the wedding um, scene was. Mm-hmm. And they had to be the olives, the, the, did I say olives? I meant tomatoes. This, this garden here was planted by Coppola. They had to be imported from Italy and planted here. And, mm. and, um, and so they were filming the scene, the wedding scenes, uh, you know, in that same area. And, um, when they told the guy told Francis Ford Coppola, we're not going to film the, We're not going to film the, the scene of the Don dying. We just don't have the, the time or the budget or whatever. And so on one of the days they were filming, Francis Ford Coppola just said to Marlon Brando, like, let's just film this really quickly while we're while we're waiting to set up over there. So they literally just had like one take to be able to do it. Mm. And so they just set up like a bunch of cameras around so that they could just capture everything as it happened. Because, you know, acting with a kid and stuff, you don't know where mm-hmm. he's going to be or whatever. So yeah. I think if this had all been planned out more methodically, you might have had more of a close up. But because they kind of had to get it on the fly, mm. it, mm-hmm. it they kind of just had to go with whatever whatever uh, happened. So, yeah. um, oh, interesting. And yeah, so they filmed it all really quickly. And um, and then uh, the guy was the, the producer guy was super pissed off that he had filmed it without, um, you know, sort of off the record yeah but yeah. uh you know a lot of people say i think it's one of the best scenes oh, uh, it's a great know, scene it's certainly Very touching a, yeah so um yeah anyway that's why um that's and also there's that scene where Marlon, where uh the don goes like come here come here and he like moves uh the kid to the side and i feel like it's because he was aware of where the camera was mm. and was trying to move mm. it so you could see the kid's face on camera so i think that's oh, yeah. that's uh that's one thing that i, I noticed but uh Anyway, 
Yeah. So uh, done very early in the movie and done on the fly. Yeah, that's neat. So yeah, it's uh, a great scene. It's fun yeah. to watch. Mm-hmm. And also, yeah. we didn't talk about it, but the kid's obviously genu- very genuine reaction at getting yeah. scared because there's that nice little lag time between, like, he sees it and then he's almost just like in shock for like a <laughs> yeah. second. And then he's, ah! you know, it's, it's such a very realistic way. That's like yeah. if you had had a kid, if this had been like rehearsed a bunch of times and stuff, the kid would have, as soon as he did it, the kid would have just started screaming and. Yeah, never would have gotten that very yeah, that real genuine reaction. reaction to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this whole thing was um, imp- was come up with and improvised by uh, Marlon Brando. He wanted to do the uh, the orange trick because he knew it was something he'd done with his own children, mm. and so he wanted to do it. Uh, so, which is especially adds another layer of tragedy to it because Don, uh, Marlon Brando's kids have had so much. Uh, you know, he's had such a kids didn't exactly grow up to be very happy. So it's yeah. it's it's a sad seeing you know Marlon Brando horsing around with kids when. Uh, yeah, it's very touching to see this scene at the end of Don Corleone's life. Yeah. It's that human side of him. So it's, 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 it's almost the first time you see him where he's completely given up having to be responsible for anything. Or at least you don't see it. He's careless. He's Exactly. Mm-hmm. And look what happens to him. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got careless for one afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, Don was slipping. The, yeah. the, the Turk, Turk knew it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Listen, would the, would the Don have been running around with an orange in his mouth 10 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> he should have started going to meetings like that. That should have become his shtick. <laughs> Do you remember that guy that um, there was a real life New York crime figure who his his defense was that he was... Um, Oh, crazy, yeah. Yeah, he would wander around in a bathroom and stuff to try to make people think that he was really, like, like not, I don't know where he was. (laughs) That's what the Don could do. (laughs) Oh, and be the orange mouth monster? Yeah, just be, like, that would be his, that would be like, well, he must be crazy. No one would do that if they weren't. uh, Would he only speak in that language? (laughs) Yeah, Anthony would have to interpret for him. (laughs) That'd be great. That's how he passed on all his instructions. He would meet with Michael in the garden. <laughs> we'll get that pop. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's all I got for this minute. There's yeah. not not a lot of not a lot of stuff. Yeah, stuff going not a on. lot of analysis. A uh, great minute. Mm-hmm. Just, like I said, very touching. Uh, not a lot of dialogue. Really, just that inter interaction between a. Uh, a grandfather who truly loves his grandson, grandfather on his way out, Anthony looking to enjoy the afternoon with his grandfather in a, the sunny garden. Sunny well, garden. Is that what they named it after sunny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, that spray can, this yeah. is probably the last minute we'll see it. Yeah. You remember, you know, the pesticide sprayer? I think we do see it next minute, don't we? Doesn't he drop it on the ground in the next minute? Oh, that's right. Because at the, because in, yeah, because in this minute, the tail end of it, he picks it back up and he starts chasing the Don around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because he even so, sprays him a couple of times when he's laying on the ground, if I remember yeah. correctly. So <laughs> he's really, he's, he's, he's smart, making sure. Yeah, that's right. It's like a bullet <laughs> to the chest and to the head. <laughs> he, he squirted him five times in the face so he couldn't have an open, open casket. Yeah. Five shots from the pesticide sprayer and there's still bugs. <laughs> So I looked on eBay today to see if we could buy one of those for you as a surprise gift. And I, they don't exist. You can't get. You can what get. Do you mean the they old, don't exist. You can get the ones that have. It's, it's hard to explain. It's it's the sprayer, like the big tank on your back. But the and tank, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got you one of those instead. <laughs> oh, that, oh, it's awesome! <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I filled it with red wine. Oh, awesome. yeah. So when Clemenza <laughs> calls you for wine, you can just go over and shoot it in his face. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even have to go over. I can just squirt them from here. That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Paulie, more what? Now, to this, this isn't you. This there wasn't like chemicals in this before you put the wine in. It was like it was rinse. It was like never used for chemicals and stuff. Right, the one, the one I got you. Yeah. So uh, you want to rate this minute? <laughs> Now, of course, I would clean it out. Okay, <laughs> clean it out. So <laughs> the one that. The one that I was going to get for you. So they have the ones where it's a sprayer, but they have the the pesticide container on the bottom. And that's classic. You'd recognize it from cartoons. Isn't that the same one as this one? No, this one, the receptacle is right on the end. So it's just like a real fat 
end. Huh. And I couldn't find one anywhere online. Huh. So if you want to look around and get one for me, we can hang it in our recording studio. Yeah, totally. And we yeah. can help keep the bugs away. <laughs> By the way, we I know I know you've done some great artwork. For example, the Waltz, uh, the Khartoum uh, crest emblem. Uh-huh. We should make something and put the sprayer in the picture. Mm, if, if there's a, a, like a Corleone coat of arms. Oh, or like the totally Anthony, Anthony Corleone extermination, sir. <laughs> <laughs> extermination. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that Clemenza, that was foreshadowing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Full choice of words, Anthony. Yeah, totally. We should totally do a, a Corleone family coat of arms with uh, with mm-hmm. uh, spray bottles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe when when that we finish up, maybe uh, later in the year when we finish up uh, this uh, for to celebrate, I'll do like one very complicated drawing with tons of Godfather references in it. So mm, yeah, very cool. So, yeah. Well, well let's rate let's rate this sucker. Yeah, let's rate let's it. rate this sucker. <laughs> it's the orange mouth monster. Mm-hmm. He did begin by saying he's spelling it. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I know that's your go to line now. <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> he's spilling it. <laughs> That's one of the themes of the movie. It's like making messes and cleaning it up. <laughs> well, my what? children come and play with their toys. As, as you can see, I, I spoil my children. They make messes when they should be cleaning them up. <laughs> All right, we're rating it? Yes. All right. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if that's Italian, Alex. <laughs> it's international. I wonder what that's from. That song? Yeah. That's the, that's the uh, Mexican hat? That's La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not the Mexican national anthem. Well, it's also oh, no, the Mexican, I was going to say the Mexican hat dance. Ah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, like <laughs> <laughs> but I thought I thought man, I, I for all I know I was, I thought oh, is Mexican hat dance racist? And I was like, oh no, it's called the cockroach song. That's that's much yeah. less bad. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Why did you rate it five, Alex? Well, it's got the Don with the orange in his mouth, the mm-hmm. classic moment. You got the great acting job by uh, little Anthony there, mm-hmm. and uh, it's heartwarming because the Don is really like, oh, I'm so he really regrets scaring his kid like that. Yeah. So I think he has. It's not like he yelled at him and told him to toughen up or or yeah. anything like that. He he had. See, that's the, that's what Mikey. Um, that's the heart Mikey didn't get. Yeah, is that yeah. is that that ability to. Uh, to sort of uh, to love his children, yeah, and as a result, he lost his family. Yeah, I didn't think you could ever lose your family, not in English anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because as we talked about before, Don Corleone has the traits of all three of his sons, right? He's got, but each one separately doesn't have all of them. Yeah, it's like he's like Voltron. Yeah, he's like a combination of all four of mm-hmm. his sons. So I, th- I think, I think. Coming up with the gag, the actual creation of the design of the gag was Michael. The 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 carrying out of the gag was totally Sunny, uh-huh. and then the the feeling sorry for scaring scaring Anthony was Fredo. Ah, uh, wait. So which one was Michael? Probably the calculation, the design of the of this particular gag. So like so, he's, so like he's like, if I'm going to scare Anthony, I should. I've got an orange right next to me. Perfect. I can do this. It's right Perfect. there. It's convenient. <laughs> no one has to plant the fruit here. But then it's... it's <laughs> <laughs> Although you don't know. Maybe it was planted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then it's Sonny who who enjoys the gag itself. Yeah. So I think Sonny is the one. It's the Sonny part of his brain that comes up with it. Yeah. Because he's like, oh, I'm going to play a little joke. What can I do? Yeah. And then the Michael part's yeah, like, hey, yeah. why don't you put that orange in your mouth? And Fredo's like, no, nah, you don't scare a kid like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. the Tom Hagen is all the, the part that's all like nervous about doing it and doesn't want to get yeah. caught. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and Carlo's the one who's upset there's all like orange peels all laying around. <laughs> totally. <laughs> what about Connie? Connie is the one who wants to book passage on the Queen. <laughs> So that's why she's the, that's how she's the. There. Yeah, because Connie needs money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, all right, I guess that'll wrap up minute one five two. Mm-hmm. I guess next minute is our last um, Marlon Brando oh, minute. It is. Oh man, oh. we're gonna miss you. The end of an era. Is this the end of our five star minutes too? No. The next one, I mean. Don's not in it anymore. But that doesn't mean those are the only five. But come on, he bumped up every minute one. So we have, we're from now on we're gonna have to have true non non Don supported minutes to you're saying without the don there that extra star is going to go running for cover (laughs) even the old man's extra star (laughs) will go running for cover (laughs) all right then so why don't you and i go do some bonus content now and um uh, if anyone else wants to join us you could go to godfatherminute.com slash support Mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be back next week and oh, and don't forget, we're on YouTube. If you're not listening yeah. to us on YouTube, you, you can you can, and you can get it a week sooner as well. So yeah, uh, every Sunday at uh, Sunday, very early morning. God's Pacific Day. That's time. how you remember. What's that? That's how you remember. Sunday is God's Day. Godfather. Mm, got it. Got it. Mm, I like it. So until next time. time. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.